What does it take to make a series like Yellowstone? It definitely takes more than just an idea and good intentions, we'll tell you that. The show is known for its incredible acting, set pieces and more, and the series just keeps getting better with every season that they put out. But there's a cost to doing that, and a cost to trying to make it as authentic as possible. Mainly they have to deal with the issues that they'd rather not have to deal with at all, but have no choice. We'll show you some of those behind the scenes issues. Number 6. Making the Show Yellowstone fans have Taylor Sheridan and John Linson to thank for bringing the series to life. Sheridan especially as he first began setting the groundwork for what would become Yellowstone way back in 2013. If Sheridan's name is ringing a bell, it's probably because he's one of Hollywood's biggest up-and-coming behind-the-scenes talents. After a short career as an actor that saw him taking on a small part on Veronica Mars and a recurring role as Deputy Chief of Police David Hale on Sons of Anarchy, Sheridan decided to move behind the camera. In fact, it was his wariness of acting that turned him into screenwriting in the first place, and thus motivated him to create Yellowstone. Sheridan is best known for his first two efforts as a screenwriter, 2015 Sicario, a visceral tale of an FBI agent's descent into the world of Mexico's cartel wars, was met with widespread acclaim. Sheridan's follow-up, the modern western Hell or High Water, nabbed him an Oscar nomination for Best Original Screenplay. He also wrote and directed the 2017 film Wind River before successfully pitching his idea for Yellowstone. The impetus for Yellowstone came from a desire to tell a story about gentrification in the American West. In an interview with Deadline, Sheridan explained, It is the most American of us, the West, and land developers sell that fantasy. And people who can afford the fantasy are very, very wealthy people from LA to New York, Dallas, and Florida. In the process, those land values and inheritance taxes are killing a way of life. That theme definitely runs deep in Yellowstone. Number 5. Kevin Costner One of Yellowstone's biggest draws is its star, Oscar winner Kevin Costner. It is the multi-talented actor's first time starring on a TV series, not counting the limited miniseries Hatfields and McCoys, and Sheridan viewed the involvement of Costner as being integral to setting the show's tone and style. He told Variety in June of 2018, Kevin's one of the biggest movie stars of the past 40 years and well-deserved. He is an incredible storyteller as a director, as a writer, as an actor, and so when you have that kind of tool in your toolbox, you can write him into some really conflicting situations. As it turns out, there is a reason that Costner has been slow to make the leap to TV. He told IndieWire that he's had difficulty feeling comfortable creating a character without knowing what their full arc will be. He described the process as a more vulnerable way to go through life as an actor, even going so far as to say it hasn't been an easy adjustment for me. I don't like it too much. Despite his misgivings about working in TV, Costner has not only been great on the show, but he absolutely loves his fellow cast members and those behind the scenes. And season 5 just might be his biggest showing yet overall. Number 4. Producer Problems Here's a secret that they honestly wish never happened as it affected them right from the get-go. For Yellowstone's first season, Paramount Network partnered with the Weinstein Company as well as John and Art Linson, who would produce the series. However, in October 2017, the New York Times and the New Yorker published reports of the Weinstein Company co-founder Harvey Weinstein's history of sexual harassment and abuse. Swift action was then taken to distance Weinstein from Yellowstone. After releasing a statement declaring that Weinstein's name would be removed from the credits for both Yellowstone and another show that he had co-produced for the network, Waco, the president of Paramount Network, Kevin Kay, stood firm in the decision during a press tour. As reported by Deadline, the exec explained there are hundreds of people who worked on both Waco and Yellowstone, and these people shouldn't be penalized. That has nothing to do with them, and we want a safe workplace. Nobody wants to be associated with things that went on there. When pressed about Weinstein's involvement on Yellowstone and Waco, Kay added, I want to say definitively that Harvey Weinstein has never been a part of the creative process. Until a new name of the company is announced, Weinstein Company will not be listed in the credits for either show. Number 3. Lineage Despite Yellowstone's primary focus being on the White Dutton family, their proximity to the fictional Broken Rock Indian Reservation, and ongoing feud with tribe chairman Thomas Rainwater, Gil Birmingham, means that Native American characters are featured prominently on the show. Controversy erupted over the casting of actress Kelsey Asbill in the role of Monica Long Dutton, a Native American woman and the wife of one of the Dutton's sons. Asbill had previously claimed to be of Chinese and Cherokee descent. 
Shown Magazine described her in a July 2018 profile as part Cherokee and half Chinese, presumably because that's what she stated her heritage as during the interview. A November 2018 profile of Asbiel in W Magazine also described her as being of Chinese, English, and Cherokee descent, and featured the actress stating, It's been a blessing to get to explore native culture on Yellowstone. As a person of mixed race, as you get older, it matters more to you who you are and where you come from. So to be able to get in touch with that side of my heritage has been amazing. However, according to native news source Pachanga.net, when those claims were presented to the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians, the tribe Asbiel claimed her lineage descended from, they responded with a statement declaring no documentation was found in our records to support any claim that she descends from the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians. Not the best thing, not at all. Number 2. PETA in 2018, animal rights advocacy group PETA claimed that a whistleblower who worked on the set of Yellowstone had alerted them that the show had used actual dead bovines in a scene that depicted mutilated cow carcasses. As reported by The Wire, PETA pointed out that using actual dead cows instead of props was both wasteful and could potentially expose the cast and crew to disease. The group claimed the whistleblower noted that the carcasses were left out in the sun for a long period of time during filming and produced a stench that was difficult for the crew to later wash away. Paramount Network denied the claim. Paramount Network's SVP of Communications, Kurt Patat, said in a statement via The Wrap, Paramount Network takes animal safety very seriously and with the utmost professionalism. He added, we have been in touch with PETA, which presented us with inaccurate claims that we were able to correct, including no cows were killed or mutilated for the scene in question. Thankfully, this is the only claim of animal cruelty that Yellowstone has faced on this topic. Number 1. Filming Although a lot of the drama on Yellowstone centers on family and political conflict, that doesn't mean that filming doesn't get intense. Speaking with Parade Magazine, actress Kelly Riley, who plays the smart and scary Beth Dutton, described a particularly harrowing day on set when she had to film a scene where her character runs towards a pack of wolves during a very unorthodox date. They were real wolves. They were tame, but they were still real wolves, said Riley. They had like invisible fishing line on them with two people lying in the grass. So if they had charged me, I kept saying to them, you really think that's going to stop them? And they were like, well, we can't do anything else. In another incident, Riley described how she almost fell victim to a bad Google Maps recommendation during a break from filming. While attempting a day trip, the British actress took a shortcut and found herself on a precarious Montana mountain road in the middle of December in an ill-equipped car. She told Parade that her first reaction when returning to level ground was of shock and gratitude. I can't believe I survived. That also doesn't even mention how one of their actors is being sued for disability fraud, something that they deny they did, and that obviously casts a cloud over filming. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the Yellowstone series and all that it's had to go through over the years? Which secrets did you find the most interesting? Do you know of another secret that the people have tried to hide on the set? How long can Yellowstone go? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next time on the channel.